So here's my last story for you. I had a workshop student named Anne. She was young, she was in her 20s. Um, she used to wear really, really short skirts, and she would wear knee socks, and she had bangs in her eyes, and she looked like she was eight years old to me. I found it really interesting. And we met for 12 weeks, and the first six weeks, she never said a word. Everybody else is talking and making breakthroughs or mentioning a role that they're playing, and she never said a word, ever. I was starting to worry, because I thought, well, maybe I'm never going to get through to her. And then finally, the seventh week, she raises her hand out of nowhere. We're not even talking about anything in particular. And she says, I want to ask you a question. Now, everybody's noticing this. And, you know, I can't see her eyes because they're covered by her bangs. And she said, I watch Beauty at the Beast every day. And I have um, all these dolls and um, stuffed animals that um, I like to have around me. Do you think there's something wrong with me? <laughs> and I could see everybody in the classroom was looking at her and then they all looked at me because they wanted to know what in the world am I going to say. And I looked at her and I thought, you know, she has a lot of integrity. She seems very consistent to me. And I said, no, I don't think there's anything wrong with you at all. And she said, good. And I said, well, okay. And, she, and I said, well, um, why did you ask me that? And she said, well, because I just left my boyfriend because he made me give all my stuffed animals away. Oh. And every, in the scene, did you hear some people went, oh. And in the, in the workshop, everybody went, oh. So you can see already everybody's saying this weird and wacky thing about Anne liking Beauty and the Beast. And maybe there's something kind of cool about it. But yeah, maybe there is something cool about it because her boyfriend didn't let her do it. So long story short, by the end of the workshop, she figured out what she really wanted to do with her life was to be a kindergarten teacher. So she embraced that part of herself that seemed odd and became, she became who she really was. And there was a young man who was taking that workshop who noticed her all along and watched her transformation and now they're married. <laughs> so I want to leave you with that story to just think, you know, maybe later day, maybe, maybe, maybe January 1st when you're writing your goals down. You might write down something that's kind of weird that you didn't think that you were going to do. And you know what I'm going to say, right? Go for it.